My name is Jared Green. I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service at the Eastern Massachusetts National Wildlife Refuge Complex. And I'm also a graduate student at the University of Georgia researching the effects of head starting on a blending turtle repatriation project. So we're actually going to try and catch a juvenile turtle. Um, we catch all of our turtles once in the spring and once in the fall. Uh, for our head started turtles, they wear radio transmitters that have radios that need to be swapped out every six months to replace the battery. Um, our juvenile turtles, since they're a little bit larger, they can wear a radio that gets a larger battery. And so this guy actually doesn't need a radio swap, but we still capture them um, each year in the spring and the fall just to see how much they're growing from the previous capture. The Blanding's turtle is a threatened or endangered species in all of the states in New England in which it occurs. Here in Massachusetts, they're listed as a th uh, state's threatened species. And so two of, the, two of the larger populations in New England occur um, on wildlife refuges in Massachusetts. And so what we're doing is we're trying to start a new population here at Assabet Refuge, um, taking hatchlings from one of our other refuges. Um, and so how we're doing that is we're taking, uh, we go out in June to one of the, one of the refuges that has a, a stable population and we actually go out and protect all the, the nests that the females lay. Um, we do this by going out to the nest site um, and watching the females as they lay their eggs and then putting metal fencing down uh, to protect the nests from predators such as raccoons and coyotes. Then we come back a couple months later and actually remove the hatchlings uh, from the exclosures and then half of those hatchlings uh, get released right into the wetland um, at the donor site and then the other half uh, come to Assabet to be released. And so half of that half that comes here actually uh, is directly released into the, the wetlands here at Assabet and then the other half uh, we actually head start which is basically just raising the hatchlings in captivity over their first winter to increase their, their growth rate. Um, and how that happens is the turtles are kept in warm water and they're being fed every day. And so that actually increases their growth rate by three to four times what it would be normally in the wild. And our hope with this is that when we release these head starter turtles into the wetland, um, is that there'll be, they'll have a much greater chance of survival just because they're so much larger.